Hello, grade 8 students, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So in the past weeks, we've been talking about the theory of evolution. We discussed scientists that contributed to the theory of evolution and specifically talked about Charles Darwin, which is the father of evolution. We went on the journey that he went through to describe or to explain the theory of evolution or the process of evolution. We saw that he talked about the natural selection, artificial selection, and what are the factors that contributed to the evolution, such as environmental factors, genes, and mutations. But now, at this part of the unit, we are going to discuss what evidence helped us understand the theory of evolution, or what evidence contributed to the theory of evolution. The first and the most obvious evidence is fossils. So we are going to know what are fossils, how did fossils contribute to the theory of evolution, we're going to know what are fossil records, we're going to understand where do we find these records and how scientists went through the records to know more about the evolution of species. We're going to discuss how these fossils can be different or how are they similar. And the second evidence is embryology. So embry embryo is the early stages of development of an organism. Scientists viewed that embryos of many organisms resemble each other. So we are going to discuss some of the fossilized eggs that were found by scientists that helped them learn more about the development of species from a long time ago. Moving on to how these organisms are related to other forms, such as mammals, fish, humans, gills, slits, tail, we're going to understand more about the embryological evidence. Moving on to the third evidence, which is comparative anatomy. We're going to view some of the parts or similar structures that are called homologous, such as limbs or a pattern of bones, that they have similar structure, but they are used for a different function. We're going to discuss more about the anatomy of these structures. And as usual, we are going to assess our knowledge by online exams and group discussions. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much, 8th grade. I hope that this week will be full of new knowledge. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you so much.